Hi, I'm Fernanda Midori, and I'm presenting my work titled Prediction and Classification of Toxins in Venom Proteins with PSSMs and Family Domain Profiles. This work is in development in Butantan Institute in Laboratory of Applied Toxinology with supervision of Dr. Milton Yutaka. Venoms are produced by many organisms and are stored on venom glands. Venom proteins and toxins originated from recruitment of proteins of key regulatory processes to the venom glands, where they suffer modifications that change the protein function, generating new protein families. The new proteins preserve the scaffold of the original family but have key modified residues. These proteins are promising targets for development of new drugs. The venom components are very specific and efficient. Arachnids, such as spiders and scorpions, are well-studied venomous animals due to its importance in public health. Novel sequencing technologies have allowed the study of whole venom gland transcriptomes. The sequencing of only one venom gland can generate thousands of transcripts, making the annotation of toxins and venom proteins from those transcripts an important task to be handled by bioinformatics tools. Common methods mostly rely on protein similarity by alignment to toxins using BLAST-P and manual curation, which can be a time-consuming process. We propose a new approach to improve the prediction and classification of venom proteins and toxins based on position-specific scoring matrix combined with heating Markov model profiles and characterization of family domains. Briefly, we created a curated database of venom proteins and toxins from arachnids and classified them in families. We increased the number of proteins per family with PsyBlast with Uniprot ToxProt database and generated single family position specific score matrices or PSSMs. Then we searched the protein families for interpro domains represented as heating Markov model profiles and manually searched for new domains in conserved regions. With both the PSSM and HAM profiles, we can create a combined curated database with characterized domains. The predictor, based on PSSM and HAM, will aid in identification and classification of new toxins and venom proteins from new transcript transcriptome or proteome data. To create our database of proteins, we collected 2,559 sequences from curated databases and manually separated them into 13 venom protein families and 10 neurotoxin subfamilies. To test our PSSM approach, we also collected a negative dataset of 10,000 non-venom proteins obtained from Uniprot KB. For each family, a PSSM corresponding to a multiple alignment was generated and tested with the proteins of the family and the negative dataset with RPS BLAST. The MAFIS correlation coefficient was obtained for venom protein families with mean 0.98 and neurotoxin subfamilies with mean 0.96, which show that PSSM could successfully identify and classify venom proteins and neurotoxins. We used a dataset of manually curated and classified venom proteins and neurotoxins, and a dataset of non-venom proteins from seven species of spiders and scorpions to compare our PSSM approach with a normal BLASP and three other prediction tools, which do not provide classification. With venom proteins and neurotoxins, the PSSM and BLAST-P approach obtained the best results, with BLAST-P slightly better than PSSM. But on the negative data set, PSSM performed better than BLAST, identifying less false positives. Comparing the PSSM approach with Toxify, Clemtox, and Tox Classifier, we can see that prediction based on global alignment protein-to-protein -protein comparison, such as BLAST and PSSM, is still better than machine learning based methods. PSSM approach could successfully identify and classify venom proteins and toxins, but BLASP still performed better in finding true positives. However, PSSM identified less false positives, which is an advantage of this approach. To overcome the limitation of PSSM in identifying known toxins and venom proteins from global alignment approach, our method will include a second step based on HAM profiles. They will be characterized new domains from the pro venom proteins for each family and included known domains to create an HAM profile database to perform search of local profiles, establishing a new approach for identification and classification 
of venom proteins and toxins. In order to characterize domains from the protein families, we performed in a scan to obtain known domains for each family. As an example, I'm showing a heat map with the known domains for the 111 proteins from the cap family, and the colors indicate minus log 10 of E values for all domains. We analyzed the family multiple al alignment for the known domains as shown in blue and brown. And we also search for new domains as shown in the orange box to create a new HAM profile for this family. With both the known domains and new HAM profiles, we can create our characterized database of domains for each family. To conclude, PSSM could identify and classify venom proteins and toxins with low false positives. Characterization of family domains and HAM models generation for new conserved motives will improve the quality of the toxin family classification and increase accuracy of prediction and annotation. Up to date, there is no venom protein and toxin families curated in a consistent database with family domains for arachnids. There are few venom proteins and toxin prediction tools, and those available do not classify the proteins in families. A predictor based on PSSM and HAM will aid in identifying new venom proteins and toxins from arachnids, but the same approach could be used with other venomous animals. I would like to thank our funding institutions and our collaborators. Thanks for watching.